In this movie, a boy and a girl get stuck in a lift, and later what happens between them and the story behind it will blow your mind. A girl named Jennifer leaves for the airport on Friday late night after finishing her work by 8 o'clock, and in the same building, a boy named Guy from some other office also leaves for his house, after working till late night. Both of them wait for lift on different floors, Jennifer goes to the lift first and when the lift goes to the lower floor, Guy is unable to come in the lift, so Jennifer helps him by opening the door. Both have a casual chat with each other, when the lift reaches the basement, it suddenly stops. Both of them do not understand anything, Guy tries to contact outside by pressing the call button and alarm button, but both the buttons were not working in the lift, since the lift was in the basement, there was no phone network available here. They were not able to contact anyone even on the phone. Later both of them tell about their job and their company in the conversation, that they work in different offices in the same building. Jennifer had to catch the 11 o'clock flight because she wanted to surprise her ex-boyfriend, so she is very tense. Guy shouts in the lift but there is no response from outside, so together they try to open the ceiling door of the lift, but they are not able to open that. After some time Jennifer realizes that her flight has already been missed, so she now feels a little relaxed. Jennifer feels thirsty now, so Guy gives his bottle of water to drink, then she offers some candy from her bag. Four hours pass, now it is 12 o'clock in the night. Jennifer badly has to go washroom but she tries to control, then Guy says, there is no need to be ashamed of me, it is natural. After this, both of them share their personal things with each other. Jennifer and Guy were both single so no one was going to find them, so Guy opens the bottle of wine that he brought with him and shares it with Jennifer. One hour passes and it is one o'clock in the night. They make each other's drawings, Guy makes very good drawings which Jennifer likes very much. Jennifer takes a picture of this drawing and says, I will make it my profile pic. Jennifer makes a very funny drawing of Guy. After the drawing, both become a little closer, and then both talk about the romantic and intimate experience. When Guy tells about his romantic affair, Jennifer makes a video of him and says that, she used to read adult novels with her ex-boyfriend, and she used to do all the stories written in those novels with her boyfriend in real as well. Guy's mood turns a little romantic, and Jennifer notices this and passes a naughty smile. Seeing this, Guy comes to Jennifer and they start kissing each other, in the meantime both of them get intimate in the lift. After getting intimate, Guy tells Jennifer that he is in love with Jennifer. Upon hearing this, Jennifer quickly puts on clothes and says that, she also enjoyed this moment but she loves her ex-boyfriend very much, and she is going to surprise him today, that's why he should not take this moment so much serious and forget it as the moment of the heat. Guy does not like to hear this, he says, I should get at least one chance. Jennifer says on this, that it was just a casual intimate so you forget it. Guy starts behaving strangely and says that, he does not work in any company in the building. He shows the photo of CCTV to Jennifer and says that, he sees Jennifer every day through CCTV and he likes her a lot. He does not work in any company, he is the security guard of this building, due to which he sees Jennifer daily through CCTV. Jennifer is horrified to hear this. Guy starts the lift by taking out a key from his pocket and says, you can get out of here if you want. Jennifer is shocked to see that he had the key to start this lift in all time, but he was just pretending that the lift gets stuck. Jennifer says, you will spend rest of life in jail for this. Jennifer runs to open the lift with the key, but Guy catches her. Jennifer tries to free herself from him, and in this fight Jennifer accidentally breaks the key of this lift, now both of them are stuck in the lift for real. Jennifer now becomes horribly fisted and brutally kneels Guy and breaks her head by picking up her sandals. Now Guy becomes unconscious, Jennifer gets nervous seeing a lot of blood in the lift, so she slowly go near him to see, but Guy regains consciousness for a moment and hits Jennifer's head with the floor of the lift, and now both of them faint. If you are watching, do not forget to subscribe and like the video. After a long time, when Jennifer regains consciousness, she sees that the guy has already come to her senses and he is sitting quietly in a corner. Guy sees Jennifer coming to her senses and says that, look, my relation started in the lift, and we also got intimate in the lift and our breakup also happened here. Guy searches Jennifer's bag and takes out the shirt that Jennifer wanted to give to her ex-boyfriend, and wears that. He asks Jennifer to open another gift box, Jennifer in fear, opens another gift box which contains a cigar set. Guy tries to scare Jennifer with the lighter, and smokes a cigar in front of him. Guy sees that there is no screw in the ceiling panel of the lift, then he opened that panel by breaking with the bottle of wine. Jennifer sees the ceiling panel open and says that, they can leave together and she will not tell the police what he had done to her. Guy was already in love with Jennifer, so he put Jennifer on his shoulders and stood up. Jennifer comes out of the lift lifting the panel, and sees that there is a long stair to go out of the lift, she becomes happy and shows the middle finger to Guy and starts climbing the stairs. Guy manages to get out and follows Jennifer up the stairs. When Jennifer tries to open the gate of the lift, Guy comes from behind and pulls Jennifer, and in a scuffle, both of them fall back into the lift. 
Guy falls first, so he gets hurt more, the same Jennifer falls on the guy. Guy is now unconscious, but Jennifer is still conscious. Jennifer sees that there is water dripping there, which is coming out of a fire alarm. Then she tries to light the fire and sound the fire alarm, so that the fire department or security guard can come here and save them. Guy wakes up, but Jennifer kicks him and binds his hands. Due to a lot of smoke in the lift, the fire alarm rings, which makes Jennifer very happy that soon the security guards and fire department people will come here and save them. Jennifer tries to scare Guy with a cigar cutter. Guy gets scared and begs Jennifer not to do this. So Jennifer tells him that she will not do this if he obeys her. Jennifer says you have to confess that you have trapped me, and I will do your video recording. Jennifer makes a video recording and Guy explains how he tricks Jennifer and locks her up in the lift. The rest of the whole story that he had done with Jennifer was now recorded by Jennifer in the camera. Jennifer asks Guy why he didn't approach Jennifer directly, so he says he is just a security guard and you do a very good job in an office, so you never go on a date with a security guard. Jennifer is a bit sympathetic to Guy's story and stops recording on her camera. It is already quarter past one, and no one has come even after sounding the fire alarm, but the other guard of the same building, Edie and his girlfriend come here to check. He gets shocked when he checks the CCTV photos in the security room, and tries to make contact in the lift. Hearing Jennifer's voice, Eddie runs towards the lift and tries to open the lift with his hand. Eddie opens the elevator door and seeing all this, Jennifer gets a hope that now she might be able to get out, but as soon as he goes to get the lift key from the bag, Guy attacks Jennifer from behind. When Eddie comes back, he couldn't see Jennifer, but he throws the key inside the lift. From inside Guy calls him inside to help him and, then Guy climbs on the lift, he grabs Eddie's hand and starts the lift, due to which Eddie dies. Blood is spilled on the lift, due to which Jennifer screams very loudly and Guy hits her on the head. Now Guy opens the elevator door and lifts Jennifer's and puts her in the trunk of his car. Guy now breaks Jennifer's phone and throws Jennifer's phone along with Eddie's body. Guy cleans himself and goes to the security room and deletes all the CCTV footage from there. Eddie's girlfriend Ruby also comes there, considering as a threat, Guy kills her and throws her in the lift. Then Guy takes Jennifer's to a deserted place in the car, and there is a huge dustbin on which he put petrol, so that he can burn Jennifer there. He opens the trunk of the car from which he put Jennifer's belongings one by one in the dustbin, assuming Jennifer is lying unconscious, but Jennifer is pretending to be unconscious. Jennifer comes out of the trunk of the car and attacks him from behind with a can of petrol and injures him. Jennifer starts the car and goes from there fast, but by bringing the car back in reverse gear, she hits Guy at speed, causing him to fall into the dustbin, and a piece of metal enters the body of Guy, due to which he cannot even move from there. Jennifer lights the cigar and throws in the dustbin, due to which the dustbin catches fire and Guy burns like garbage in the same dustbin, and Jennifer leaves from there. And with this, movie ends. I hope that you enjoy this video, if you want to make sure you never miss a new upload, be sure to subscribe to the channel Mr. Explainer, turn on notifications and click the bell icon, you'll get a notification, whenever I upload a new video like this.